We all want a swimmer's body. Strong, broad shoulders, a tight core, and toned legs are a sure sign of fitness and athletic prowess. But some of us need to lose a few pounds to get that dream body we desire. Well, I have good news for you. Swimming is a fantastic way to lose weight and keep it off for good. It works every muscle in your body and is a solid cardio workout that will keep you fit and healthy for the rest of your life. Plus, it's amazing for your mental health. Intrigued? Good. In this video, I'm going to explain why swimming is such an amazing workout, how many calories swimming actually burns, and how to create a swimming and nutrition plan that will help you get the physique you've been dreaming of. Plus, I'm going to share a real story of someone who lost 100 pounds swimming, so stay tuned. Now, I'm not here to tell everyone that they need to swim specifically for weight loss or to change their physical appearance. A lot of people use swimming as a form of moving meditation, to train for races, or just as a way to be social and make friends. And that's great, but if weight loss is a goal for you, swimming is a good choice for a few reasons. Let's dive in. First off, it's easy to get started swimming. You don't need to be fit to get started. All you need is a comfortable bathing suit, a swim cap, and goggles. Just show up to the pool and dive in. You don't need to know how to swim every stroke to get a good workout either. If you can only do freestyle or breaststroke, that's all good. Just do what you can and the rest will come later. Stay committed to getting 1% better every day and over time you'll start to see progress. Remember that every swimmer started somewhere and there's absolutely no shame in being a beginner. Embrace the journey. The next reason swimming is great for weight loss is that it's low impact. If other forms of exercise don't work for you because of knee pain or other joint issues, I recommend considering swimming. It won't stress your joints the same way as something like running does, so it's a great way to get moving and it should hopefully make your body feel good. Okay, next we're talking calories. If you've heard about Michael Phelps' insane 5,000 calorie diet, I think that says it all. Swimming burns a ton of calories, and if you have the right nutrition plan in place, swimming should help you lose some weight. But just how many calories does swimming burn? I'm glad you asked. Let's break it down. Now, exact calorie burn will vary from person to person. A taller, heavier person will burn more calories per workout than a shorter, lighter person. Swimming intensity also plays a role here. Let's use one hour of continuous freestyle swimming as an example. According to the American College of Sports Medicine, a 205 pound person will burn 931 calories swimming fast and about 651 calories swimming at a slower pace. By contrast, a 155 pound person will burn 704 calories swimming fast and 493 calories swimming slower. And a 130 pound person will burn 590 calories swimming fast and 413 calories swimming slow. Now, you probably won't swim at your fastest pace for a whole hour, nor will you swim extra slow. So you can most likely expect a calorie burn somewhere in the middle of the range. But like I said, calorie count will vary widely depending on who you are. So take these calorie counts as an estimate and swim with a smartwatch to get a better look at your personal calorie burn. Okay, last but not least, swimming is pretty accessible. You don't need to swim on a team to get a good workout. Just head to the pool on your own time. Many pools have reasonable entry fees and lots of gyms have lap pools nowadays too. And once you get to the pool, you don't need to swim for hours to get a good workout. For many beginners, just 15 to 20 minutes is enough to leave them totally gassed. It's safe to say that swimming is a good bang for your buck time-wise. So if you're really busy and trying to lose weight, swimming is a great option. Now that we know why swimming is great for weight loss, how do you actually lose weight swimming and get that swimmer body? According to the Mayo Clinic, healthy weight loss is about one to two pounds per week. That's about half to one kilogram for our metric friends. To lose one to two pounds per week, you need to burn 500 to 1,000 more calories than you consume each day. This is called a calorie deficit. So how do you create a calorie deficit with swimming? First, we've got to do some math. Step one is to calculate your total daily energy expenditure. Your TDEE is the total number of calories your body burns just existing. Breathing, digesting food, all that stuff. There are tons of online calculators that can help you figure this out. Once you have your TDEE, add your total calories burned from exercise for the day. Subtract the calories you plan to eat and the result is your calorie deficit. Play with different calorie intake numbers to see where the deficit will work out. According to the Cleveland Clinic, you should aim for a 500 calorie deficit to start. This should allow you to lose about a pound a week. So if your total daily energy expenditure is 2,000 calories and you burn 300 calories from a swim workout, you will need to eat 1,800 calories per day to achieve a 500 calorie deficit. Once you know your calorie goals, it's time to start swimming. If you can, try to swim two to three times per week. 
or more. I recommend following a structured training plan that will help you progress in distance and intensity over time. Give the MySwimPro app a download to get fully personalized training plans designed for weight loss. And if it feels okay for you, maybe try to add in walks or light strength training on your off days as well. Many pro swimmers add extra training in the weight room to achieve such a strong physique. So keep that in mind. As you get in shape, you'll be able to handle more training volume. So try slowly increasing how often you swim and hit the gym. Try to be consistent and stick to your weekly plan. Create a habit and it'll be easier to maintain your weight loss long term. The next step in creating our calorie deficit is all about nutrition. Your dietary needs are very personal. If you are a 5'2 woman, you're probably going to need fewer calories than a man who is 6'5". Don't follow someone else's meal plan just because it works for their unique body. If you want more personalized, detailed guidance on your nutrition, I recommend working with a registered dietitian who has experience helping people lose weight safely. We actually did an interview with a registered dietitian who focuses on swimmers, so give that a watch for some great meal examples. Okay, where were we? Many people find it helpful to track their daily calories with an app or write down their meals in a food diary. The world is really your oyster here in terms of how you want to eat, as long as you're hitting your calorie goals. Ultimately though, you need to make sure you're eating enough protein, carbs, and fat to fuel your body and help your muscles recover after exercise. Eat like an athlete. Prepping your meals ahead of time can help make sure you're covering all your bases and keeping your portion sizes in check. Don't forget to hydrate either. When you eat right, you'll feel more energized and will have more endurance for your workouts. Think about eating to fuel your body instead of depriving it. Don't punish yourself. Eat enough calories. Okay, you got all that? Now I want to share a success story that proves that all of this is actually possible. Mike lost 100 pounds with swimming and a healthy diet, and he did pretty much exactly what I explained in this video. He stayed consistent with his My Swim Pro training plan and prepped his meals to make sure he was hitting his calorie deficit goal every day. And after a year of hard work, Mike transformed from 264 pounds to 165 pounds and has kept the weight off years later. So if you don't take it from me, take it from Mike. Weight loss is a long game. Don't try to crash diet or ramp up your workout routine to something that's not sustainable. If you do this, you might lose weight super quickly, but you won't be able to keep it off. As much as we want our bodies to look different overnight, that's just not the way it works. The key is making small, incremental lifestyle changes that build on each other week by week. These habits are key to being healthy for the rest of your life. As you dive deeper into your swim journey, you'll start to see more benefits beyond just the physical changes. Your mental health might improve, you'll sleep better, and you might even focus better at work or school. What's not to love? I'd love to read your tips for creating sustainable weight loss in the comments. And if you're ready to start your swimming weight loss journey and become the best version of yourself, download the MySwimPro app to get your very own customized training plan. For extra accountability, join the MySwimPro Global Community Facebook group to connect with swimmers from all over the world and get inspired. And if you want to learn more about Mike's incredible 100 pound weight loss and swimming transformation, check out our interview with him. Thanks for watching and happy swimming.